Hi everybody. I'm just patching up the lawn before we get started on the next project. I'm fairly pleased with how this building came out. But unfortunately, it leaves the rest of the place looking like this. So this is something we're going to have to change. And I suppose I'll want to start by making sure my wand is fully charged. For just those cases where I'll need the equal trade. And then I think I'll pack up all these nodes before I tear apart this room. But before I pack up the nodes, I want to make sure they're fully charged. So we've got some rejuvenating bees here doing their job. One doesn't seem to want to charge. And maybe it's just because of its paleness. So I was going to fix that after I moved all these nodes, but considering the state this one's in, perhaps I better take care of that first. So in order to get these nodes to recover, the key once again lies in the bees. And as soon as this queen expires, we're going to breed her with some V drones and see if we can't get some empowering bees. All right, things went pretty well. After only seven attempts, I managed to get a purebred empowering princess and a purebred empowering drone both of which with, with the empowering effect but with most of the old traits that is to say with most of the old super bee traits So all I need to do now is make a bunch of drones. Which shouldn't take long, but I probably don't want to use this frame to do that. So we'll just order some more chocolate frames. All right, we'll just wait for those to generate some more drones before we get on with breeding the Nexus bees. So while they're doing that, those empowering bees are also doing some work. And you can observe over here what it is the empowering bees do. As they've already started work on these nodes, they add a random point of a random aspect every once in a while to every node within their range. Eventually, these nodes are going to be as huge as that one. Or even more so if I let enough bees work long enough on these. Okay, so I've managed to spend a while and generated some empowering drones. And even made a couple of extra rejuvenating princesses. So I'm ready to work on the Nexus bees. But to breed them, I'm going to have to go again to that magical biome. And then 
since it says I have to use a node as a foundation, I think I'm going to have to build my apiary right on top of a node. I think I'd like to avoid using a sinister one, especially once it gets dark. It'd be a little bit inconvenient trying to breed bees with furious zombies spawning all around you. This is a bit more like it. Now, I was going to bring out a whole alviary and use the mutators and everything. Maybe build some extra mutators. But this foundation requirement might not work well with alviaries. I haven't really experimented with that. So we'll just go with our good old-fashioned soul frames. Nighttime. Normally that would be a problem, except I've got nocturnal bees. So rejuvenating, plus empowering. And we'll give it a few spins around and see what happens. All right, so we managed to breed our Nexus Queen, and it came out with the effect we wanted. So all we need to do now, since it doesn't have uh, nocturnal abilities and it's got a very slow reproduction rate, we're just going to wait until we get some more larvae up here, and then we're going to make them super bees. With our favorite array. And super nexus bees. And the effect that they give, that I've been working on for so long, is that they will cure a node not only of its paleness or fadingness, but it'll crank it right up to bright. So that'll be a nice thing to have. So even if these nodes are damaged in moving, we'll have no trouble getting them back up to their fast recharging state. So what I think I'm going to go with is something a little more simple than this, and not so dark. I'm thinking marble steps and pillars and another layer on the top for the Osmotic Enchanter. And we also have plenty of quartz which I may use for floors or maybe just for the pillars.
Not too bad. Towards the end, I ran out of marble and decided to make that top layer of steps out of quartz. I was afraid I wouldn't like that. I was afraid it might look like someone ran out of marble and decided to switch to quartz. But uh, actually, I think it came out looking pretty good. I haven't put the nodes on here yet. But I have built the Osmotic Enchanter. And I still need to make a compound wand focus recharger thingy. So this will give me a chance to play with this thing. Like so. I did not check to make sure I had all the aspects I needed for this thing. I'm pretty sure I do, though. I hope I do. It's gonna be embarrassing if I don't. But yeah, there it goes. Very nice. First infusion with the new altar. Now all I need is nodes. As I said before, I'm never really going to need more than one of these nodes in place. But it is going to look cool with all four, with all eight of them here. Particularly once they grow to ridiculous size. So yeah, pretty nice. And this one's hurt pretty badly. That one's pale. So yeah, we do have some damaged nodes, but we already know how I'm going to fix them. So we'll just charge this up again. Well, with those way up like that, you can see almost all their aspects. I like that. Of course, the real power for these pedestals is with the bees. So, we have Rejuvenating, Nexus, Pure, and Empowering. And 
this one has not got its cathemeral genes in yet. Okay, well, it seems I screwed up a little bit with the empowering ones, and it'll take a few hours to straighten that out. But in the meanwhile, our node should still become pure and bright, and what was that other thing? Oh, and quickly charging. Okay, it's actually been a few hours now, and this one still insists on being a fading node. Very odd, because all of the other ones are still... have already turned bright. But, anyway... Once you've finished charging your wand, you can take it right up here to the Osmotic Enchanter and, uh... Enchant the heck out of some stuff. So, I need something good to enchant. And I think I'll go with this diamond drill. Just because I can. Now, what do I want to do with it? I could give it silk touch, but I'd rather save that for another tool. Unbreaking seems kind of silly. We could give it fortune. Three. And tunnel. I haven't heard about that one. And we can give it some speed with efficiency. Five. So let's see what happens with that. Isn't that awesome? We'll just put this up here to recharge again. Nice. So yeah, big holes with fortune. Very nice. And very fast. I'd love to give this stuff a different look, though. Like maybe some of these around the pillars. Oops. Yeah, I like that. I think that came out pretty nicely. It'd be nice if I had something else with faces or something I could put on here. But I don't. The closest thing I could find changes into a blank texture when I try to cut it. Still, this makes me pretty happy. So, there's our node charging and osmotic enchanting station. Be sure to tune in next week and see what I do next. Till then, have a nice day.